If you want to get your malicious website seen, search engines are an attractive target. Hackers fill infected web pages with thousands of search terms and interlink these pages so that search engines like Google rank them highly. Google says half of 1% of all search returns contain a malicious link. One outside researcher estimated that in the spring of 2011, 15 million people a month were clicking malicious links brought up by Google image searches alone. But beyond search engines, much of the Internet's infrastructure is involved in a recent sharp rise in malware sites. Vint Cerf, a co-inventor of the Internet's original protocols and who is now chief Internet evangelist at Google, recently described what the company is doing more broadly in the fight against malware sites. One thing that uh, Google and others have uh, chosen to do as a partial defense mechanism is to go after uh, the sites that house the malware. Uh, there, there are really several issues here. One of them is that uh, operating systems and browsers that run in them are penetrable. And so the direct attack there is to improve the software and maybe even the hardware. I'd like to come back to that. Uh, another uh, thing that we can do and we are doing uh, is to support organizations like Stop Badware, which uh, you may know uh, spun out of the Berkman Center uh, and is uh, responsible for responding to queries from servers, uh, or as operators, I should say, of servers whose servers have been detected as containing malware. Uh, it's often the case that uh, a server has been penetrated, the operator may not know that, the operator may not know that the, that the machine is now hosting malware, which is an, it is attempting to inject into uh, the clients that are coming to that website. And uh, when Google crawls the net, our software makes an attempt to detect malware that might be present on the websites that it's looking at. Uh, if it thinks that it's found malware, it marks that site as uh, potentially uh, hazardous. Uh, if a user then uses the Google search engine uh, and turns up that particular site as part of the search response or possibly even in response to an ad and clicks on the link, if we've already marked that site as potentially hazardous, we will pop up an interstitial page, typically bright red, saying you may not want to go there. We believe there's malware there. Um, the users, of course, can go there anyway. I mean, we can't stop them from doing that, but we make it a little harder for them to do it. They can't just click a go ahead anyway button. They actually have to do a cut and paste in order oh, yeah. to, to get to the target. Google says that by June, it had reduced malicious Google image search results by 90%. But the proliferation of malware sites generally continues. The vectors and attack strategies, whether within search, social networks, or spam, are bound to simply shift as long as the criminals are profiting.